here we've got the Jubilee Barge. Now this story is brilliant. It's the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and her barge Gloriana is at the head of this amazing flotilla coming down the Thames on that misty, wet and damp bank holiday Monday in June 2012. And there's Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament uh, hidden in the mist and that drizzle, a typical bit of British weather. And the flags are out and we're celebrating and we're saying we don't care what the weather is, we're going to celebrate whatever. I like to take a Boris bike from London's Paddington station when I come in on train and then cycle across Hyde Park and this is where I ended up on the Mall. It's very pinkly purple like this and all the flags were out on this particular day. They were waiting for the arrival of Prince George. Wah! And that's what all the flags were there for and all the traffic and the people. I put in a very modern taxi here and that sort of anchors this picture right in the here and now. Venice has the best airport transfer in the world. You get into one of those water taxis and it speeds across the lagoon. There is a speed limit. It's as fast as you can go. And when you get there, you're presented with this glorious sight. We're right here looking across the lagoon to San Giorgio and these gondolas at rest. This scene is always spectacular in every season. In the summer, it's lovely. And in the winter, oh, November, the mists roll in off the Adriatic and ooh, it's great. I'm an artist who's inspired by the seasons. I love the fact that every day there's a different light and a different subject. And in Britain, we have the most spectacular seasons anywhere in the world. Springtime, the bluebells come out. There's a three week window where we have just this wonderful carpet of color. We've got 50% of the world's variety of bluebell native to Britain. I love the fact that that shade of blue changes as the three weeks of bluebell season continues. The canopy gets greener and changes. So you have to seize the moment, carpe diem and paint it. In summer, we have the poppy season. And although it's a classic countryside image, they're actually slightly enigmatic and mysterious because you have to search for these fields of poppies. They pop up unexpectedly and unpredictably. A friend of mine called me up one day and said, hey, there's a great poppy field nearby. So I got on my bike and pedaled off to go and find it. And when I did, I loved the way that the poppies rose up the hill and in amongst them were these daisies. And I went low down, so I got the poppies above the horizon here framed against the tree line at the back. Ah, oh, glorious image. When I'm painting, I really like a backlit view and you can see the sunlight coming through these golden beech leaves. And I'm used yellow ochre, Naples yellow and a crimson just to give us those lovely autumnal colors. And this pink roadway with the shadows across leads your eye. You want to go around that corner and see what's around there and enjoy the view. You better be quick though, because the weather will be stormy this weekend and all those leaves will be blown off. Hey, there's a moment. This is it. There's something magical about winter when the snow's on the ground. And painting it is quite a challenge because the scene is defined by the blues and purples and the shadows, which creates the shapes and forms and puts the whole thing into perspective. You want to go and write a postcard and say, hey, here I am. This is wonderful. And you could almost hear the crunch across the snow to mail it to a friend. <laughs>